Video games are awesome. Video games help us to live out uh, the fantasies that we, uh, we could only ever dream of otherwise. Putting a stop to nuclear weapons. Hand over the nukes or I'll shoot! What? <laughs> Visiting aliens. Hey, what's up aliens? <laughs> Scoring a goal in the World Cup final. But video games can also influence us more than we'd admit. So, uh, we'd admit. I might not look it, but I'm pretty much desensitized because of video games. On holiday last year, I saw a seagull eat a pigeon. It just ate it whole. Uh, there were people screaming, uh, parents were covering their kids' eyes, and all I could think is, oh man, why don't I have my phone on me right now to film it? I've seen far worse stuff than that in video games with more realistic graphics. Now, I'm not saying that video games are responsible for why people do really messed up stuff like, like murders, but I know that I've done some really stupid stuff because of video games. These are going to get progressively worse as we go through them, and the last one you're just seriously not going not to believe. In fact, you, you'll probably think that I should be locked up. When I got pilot wings, I don't know how old I was, maybe eight or nine, I uh, decided that I wanted to, I wanted to fly. So I uh, went into my granddad's shed and I got a whole bunch of stuff, boxes, uh, like plastic bags and loads of things. And I, I made myself um, a really cool kind of gliding plane. I worked out all the all the stuff you need to, to work out um, so that I could glide off into the clouds like like I could in my favorite in my favorite game. Now I didn't know much about physics at the time, what being like a kid and stuff. You know, hindsight tells me that uh, jumping off the roof of my granddad's uh, and my nana granddad's house uh, wasn't the best starting point with my device because I didn't so much glide as just plummet to the ground and broke my leg. My nan called an ambulance and she was so embarrassed that she told them that I was trying to get her cat out of the tree in the garden and that's how I, that's how I fell. Um, she didn't even have a cat. Those Tony Hawk's games are fun, right? Wow, I mean, I thought they looked so much fun. I thought I could skateboard like those guys. So I convinced my mum, hey, get me a, get me a damn skateboard, mum. I'm gonna, I'm gonna do all the tricks. First time, first time I went out on my skateboard, I did a really, well, I thought I, thought I was, I didn't know what I was doing, clearly, because I just jumped up, uh, fell to the ground, and knocked out two of my front teeth. You think that would have been the last time I'd got on a skateboard, but <laughs> no, it wasn't. Um, I thought that, you know, it was just bad luck, you know, the first time. So tried going on again. Uh, and the next time I tried to do this thing that my friend could do. He said, it's not that hard. You just jump up and you, the skateboard lands on the, on the railing and it's really, and I crushed my testicles. I crushed, I crushed them. <laughs> After that, I decided against skateboarding. I thought, nah, this is not for me. <laughs> you ever watch the Alien films? Because the flamethrower, I thought was like the coolest thing ever. And when I played uh, one of the Alien games on the on the PS1, uh, I was just like, man, I want to, I want to get me one of those. Now you can't just popped down to the shop and get a flamethrower, so I went into my granddad's shed. And in my granddad's shed, I got a massive water pistol. And what I decided to do with that was attach a, a lighter at the end and got some of my granddad's petrol. And I'll tell you what, for a couple of minutes, I was having a lot of fun. <laughs> Flames going up there. <laughs> Flames going up there. And it was, it was fun. 
until I burnt my granddad's shed down. Not only that, but when I was shooting it, it set fire to the, to the, what, what wasn't even a water pistol anymore. It's not even water, it's fire. Uh, a, the worst flamethrower ever because it's on fire and that's melting. So I'm throw, I throw that to the ground and I just run in and I, granddad, granddad, your shed's on fire. Of course, his first response was to, let's, let's put it out, get, throw some water on it, throw some water on it. Quick, get some buckets, throw water on it. And once it had settled down, after it had burnt down, uh, he obviously asked me what happened. I said, um, I think I saw one of my cousins going in and smoking earlier. Should I blame them? <laughs> oh, I don't even feel guilty about that because they shouldn't have been smoking, should they? That's not even the most messed up thing. I'd perform surgery on a hamster. So me and one of my friends were playing in his house and we were playing football, which we really shouldn't have been. I don't remember who it was, but one of us kicked the ball uh, and it hit the hamster cage. So obviously we freaked out. We go and check and think, oh, it's probably gonna be fine. Just a bit startled. And it was just, it was just on its back. So we get it straight out. Uh, and I just, what, what, do we, what do we do? We're just checking it, but it's not doing anything. Um, I started giving it mouth to mouth. I gave a, I gave a hamster mouth to mouth. But nothing was, nothing was happening. Nothing, it wasn't responding. Now my friend didn't really have any of like the modern games. Like he only had like these old PC games and DOS games and things. And we'd been playing this game Life and Death. It's like surgery game. And so I'm guessing that's why he suggested it. He was like, why don't we just perform surgery on it? I don't know why we thought that was a good idea, but maybe this game that we played, we thought maybe had imparted some sort of knowledge to us that would help us save this hamster. Now, of course, we didn't have like the kind, we didn't have a scalpel, so we got a Stanley knife uh, and his mum's tweezers. And basically, um, we, we cut it open and thought we would perform open heart surgery on it. But you know what? We performed open heart surgery on that hamster and we saved its life. No, we, no, we didn't. We didn't. We just created a mess, I'll be honest. It was just, it was disgusting. It was horrible. Uh, it, pretty much within 10 seconds of what we'd done, we realized we'd, we'd messed up bad. So of course we started to freak out and thought, what, what do we do? Um, we are gonna get in so much trouble for this. Um, and my friend had a great idea. He said, let's leave the cage open, put the hamster just outside the cage and blame it on the neighbor's cat, which is exactly what we did. I think that after that, there was um, quite a, uh, there was a, a whole legal dispute between his family and the neighbors. Um, but we never said anything. In fact, we never even spoke about it ever again to, to each other at all. Maybe it was already dead. Uh, maybe it wasn't the football that did it. I don't think it was the football that did it. I think it was already dead. I mean, So if you ever wanted proof that video games can influence you to do stupid things, I'm proof. The worst thing is I've not even included some of the craziest stuff that's happened to me because of video games in my life. Cause I just thought you, you aren't going to believe it, but you know, if this video does well, then maybe I'll, I'll talk about some of the other stuff that's happened. Um, but then again, the video won't do any well anyway. So, um, I mean my whole hundred thousand K subscriber target thing is not really going so well is it but you know maybe things will change if i just keep on going Ugh.